the mighty cowrie tree, a towering giant growing over 50 metres tall, with trunk girths up to 16 metres and living for more than 2,000 years. The cowrie is an ancient species which dates back to the Jurassic period between 190 and 135 million years ago. In the 1820s, vast areas of cowrie forest were cut down for timber to be used in shipbuilding, housing, furniture and much more. All this logging caused the number of cowrie in New Zealand to decline. Now in recent years, thousands of cowrie trees are being killed by disease. Cowrie dieback, a deadly disease caused by Phytophthora taxon agathis, or PTA, which is a fungus-like disease found in the soil around affected cowrie. I've asked Dr Nick Wiper, the Principal Advisor of Biosecurity Auckland Council, to meet me here today to find out more about this disease and how to prevent it from spreading. Hi Nick, nice to meet you. So what do we have here? Well this is a cleaning station which is out um, in a lot of track entrances in our parks and reserves and what it is here to do is to help visitors uh, clean their shoes. And how thoroughly do we need to be cleaning our shoes? I mean is a quick squirt going to be enough? No, we ask people to really scrub their shoes like really thoroughly and then squirt them. And is it just the shoes that need cleaning? Uh, no, if you're bringing in equipment or mountain bikes, mountain bike tyres, if they get dirty, we're asking that people also scrub and squirt those too. Anything that gets dirty. So what about dogs? And is the spray safe to be used on animals? What's actually in it? Well this is a disinfectant detergent, so it's completely safe for humans and animals. So if you are bringing your dog into the parks and their paws are a little bit dirty, you can either wipe their paws with a, with a towel or a cloth or give, it a, uh, give their paws a little spray as well. When was the PTA first discovered in New Zealand? Good question. There's, we actually don't know, but there's a lot of research underway to try and find out you know, how it got here. But the problem of coyote dieback really has um, risen since the 2006, 2008, where we really have a major problem in our forests. So what's being done to remove the PTA disease? Can and will it be eliminated? No, unfortunately it's here to stay. It's like possums and rats and stoats, you know, it's here for good. But we are doing research to look at control tools so that uh, perhaps um, fungicides or things that we can use to stop it and cure infected trees. But as I said, that research is still uh, happening now. So how can I find out more about carry dieback and is there anything else that we can do to help? Yep, there's a whole lot of information, advice, assistance on our website which is www.kauridieback.co.nz and yes, there's a lot you can do, spread the word, not the disease. We're asking the public and the community and visitors to our forests to please clean their shoes but also tell their friends and family how important it is to also do that. Thanks Nick. Well I'm going to give my shoes a clean then head on in to take a look at the cowrie within this reserve. So remember, whenever you see one of these wash stations upon entering or exiting a reserve with cowrie trees, to stop and take the time to help prevent the spread of the cowrie dieback disease. First of all, you're going to want to give your shoes a good old scrub to loosen any dirt. Then, take the spray and use it to wash away all visible dirt. And just like that, you're all done.